Okay, so hi and welcome to everyone. Welcome to today where we're going to be um, looking at the review for all the grammar that we have learnt. Um, so really quickly, hi, I'm Alaris, who's online and everyone else that's in class. So as I said, we're going to be learning um, the grammar that we have done for this unit. So if you remember, uh, we were looking at talking about our interests. That means our hobbies, what we like to do. And it's simple. To make a sentence, we say, I like with an ing, whatever the action is. I love and then the verb with the ing. So I like swimming. I like reading. I like gardening. I love speaking Spanish. I love singing. I love dancing, whatever. So that's telling someone what we enjoy doing, our interests, our hobbies, our activities and we also looked at um, using the modal verb can so now we know how to say what we know how to do so I can cook I can speak another language I can sing because not everybody knows how to do it so when you say can it means that you're showing someone you know how to do it not just you like it but you know how to do it I can cook, I can um, do something, whatever. I can garden, very good. So we talked about can and we know now how to um, use, so we know how to talk about what we like and then what we don't like. So we know how to say, I don't like um, swimming. I don't like playing soccer. Um, and it's for he, she, it, we say doesn't. You know, my friend, she doesn't like um, soccer. So then we used adverbs. Adverbs were words like always, never, sometimes, hardly, occasionally. Um, so now we know how to say, you know, how often do you swim? You told me you like to swim because you said I like swimming. So now I can ask you how often do you swim? And the answer can be, I swim all the time, I swim every day, I swim twice a week, I swim on the weekends, I swim every Sundays. So that's using words called adverbs or adverbs of frequency. Um, then we looked at talking more about free time activities. Um, we also looked at writing emails. So we know how to write a formal email. We know the structure and we know how to use different um, grammar, um, not grammar, sorry, different words because it needs to be formal language. And we know how to just write casual SMS or casual messages. And also we looked at um, <clears throat> how well we can do something. So when I say I can swim or I know how to swim or I like swimming, someone now can ask me, how well do you swim? It's different to how often, it's how well. And with how well, you have to say very well or very bad. That's the, the basic way to say it. But there's many other words like, you know, pretty well, um, very good, you know, not so well. So how well can you do it? It shows me if you're very good at it or not very good. Maybe you're still learning because you can say, I like swimming, you know, but you don't do it very well because you're still learning. So that's our lesson today. We are going to look at the grammar for all of that. Um, let's get into it. Um, so we're in our textbook, the review. So it sit, says here, complete the sentences with the ing form of these verbs. So remember, go is going. Listen will be listening. Play, playing. Swim, swimming. Watch, watching. So the first sentence is, I love, I love swimming. It's great exercise. Yep. So I'll take down some notes as well. I like swimming. It's great exercise, yes.
um, because this is the structure. We have a subject, which is I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and we can say like, love, which is the same to say I enjoy, I prefer, but I like or I love, and then we have the action or the activity with the ing. So I love swimming. It's great exercise. Number two, she, uh, sorry, he likes playing tennis. Yeah, he likes playing tennis. He likes playing tennis. She doesn't. Now, this is a negative. She doesn't like, because we know we use doesn't for he, she, it. She doesn't like going to the gym. She doesn't like going to the gym. They love, yeah, they love listening to jazz music. And number five, we don't like, that's a negative, so we don't like watching football on TV. Okay, so really simple. You've got your subject, like or love, and then the verb with the ing. That's how you make that sentence to talk about what you like. To talk about what you don't like, you just put don't for I don't, but if it's he, she, it, or you put the name, my mother doesn't, it becomes doesn't, but don't is I don't, we don't, you don't, and they don't. Doesn't is only for he, she, it. So that's how we make it a negative. And that's the rule here. Okay, so very, um, very simple rules. So then we also looked at... Um, using the present simple but with adverbs. So remember the present simple, it's just the verb. There's no ing. So it's like saying, Shelly, hey, Italo, how are you? It's like saying, I watch TV. So there's no ing. It's just subject, verb. So this one, because it's Shelly, and we want to use an adverb. Remember, adverbs are words like, Sometimes, never, hardly, occasionally, always, um, every day, not often, usually, sometimes, once a month, once a week, every weekend, every Sunday. So this one is Shelley never watches TV. That's a present simple um, statement that I'm talking about Shelley. I'm giving you information. She doesn't. Shelly never watches TV. I'm not talking about what she did yesterday, in the past, or in the future. I'm just telling you now. She doesn't. She never watches TV. Number two, Chris often watches TV. Yeah, often. That means like quite a lot. He often watches TV. Um, number three, Annette. Yes, Annette goes. So remember, it must sound like a Z. Annette goes to the cinema once a month. Uh, number four, Shelley. Sometimes. Yeah. So not always, sometimes. Shelley sometimes plays computer games. Number five, Chris. Yeah, Chris plays computer games every day. Uh, number seven, Annette. Yes, sorry, I missed number six. Yep, Chris sometimes goes to the cinema. And Annette, yes, Annette doesn't often play computer games. And eight, Shelley, yeah, 
Shelly usually goes to the gym on the weekend. Well done, because you know, on the weekend, we don't say at. So we we know how to make those sentences because we've got a subject and then we add the adverb to say how often. Is it sometimes, never, occasionally, and then the action. But if you have ones that says every or once, that goes at the end of the sentence. Or if you want to start with every or once, that goes at the beginning of the sentence. Like every week I swim. Once a week. I swim. So with words, adverbs that start with every or once, you can put them at the start of a sentence or at the end. But for all other adverbs, they go in the middle. So subject, adverb, activity. So this one is like sometimes, never, hardly, occasionally, usually. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's your rules. Okay, so then we have to match the questions with the answer. So can you speak Italian? Yeah. Can you speak Italian? So remember, we've got a subject, can. Now, can means you know how to do something and then the action. And if it's a negative, you say can't or cannot. So, yeah, can you speak Italian? Yes, I can, but not very well. Can you swim fast? No. Yeah, so I want to say but because I want to change talking about swimming. So can you swim fast? No, but I can run fast. Um, can you, uh, sorry, um, I can play the guitar. Can you? Yeah, no, but I can play the piano. I can sing very well. Can you? Yeah, no, I can't, but my friend can sing very well. How well can you play? Yeah, so sometimes when somebody asks you how well, you can just respond directly with the adverb. How well can you swim? Quite well. How well can you sing? Yeah, very well. How well can you cook? Pretty good. So you can respond directly with the adverb. Okay, so now we know how to talk about what we like to do. Remember, it was this rules, what we enjoy doing, what we like doing. Remember, the verb has the ing. We know how to make it a negative to say that we don't like to do something. We dislike it. We don't like it. And we know how to use adverbs to just show us how often do you do it? Because I know you like to swim, but do you do it every day? Do you do it every twice a week, every weekend? And we know how to use can to show if somebody knows how to do something. Like, can you play the guitar? Um, can you speak Italian? Um, can you fix computers? It's the same as saying, do you know how to? Um, do you know how to uh, ride a mo motorbike? Can you ride a motorbike? Can you draw? The same as do you know how to draw? Okay, let's look at some vocab. We have to cross the wrong words. So in the first one, we have play. So tennis, golf, running. Do we play tennis? Do we play golf? Yeah. Do we play running? No. We don't play running. We just, we run. Do you do yoga? Yeah. Do you do camping? No. Do you do exercise? Yes. So remember do, the verb do with a noun. Do is usually something with your body. You do yoga, you do taekwondo, you do karate, you do um, meditation. So something with your body. Go. Do you go fishing? Yeah. Do you go cycling? Yeah. Do you go football? No, we play football. So you got to make sure to use the correct verb with the activity. So we don't go football. We play football. Do we watch the guitar? 
No. So we can cross that one off. Do we watch videos? Yes. Watch a film? Yeah. Do we read a book? Yes. Do we read a magazine? Yes. Do we read a musical instrument? No. We play a musical instrument. Do we listen to the gym? No. We listen to the radio? Yes. Listen to music? Yes. Do we meet friends? Yep. Do we meet family? Do we meet sports? No, we don't meet sports. We play sports or we watch sports. Okay. Um, let's go to number six. Uh, we've got to put in these activities into the sentence. So we've got ball. Ice, mountain, snow, teams, and water. You play cricket and tennis with a with a ball. Sorry, these are nouns, not um. Yep. So with a ball, the sports of surfing and sailing are in water. Something hockey is popular in Canada. Yep. Make sure it's a capital letter, start of a sentence. Ice hockey is popular in Canada. You ski on uh, you ski on snow. We you ski on mountains, yeah, but yeah, you ski on snow. In football, two teams play each other. And you can go climbing on a mountain. Okay, so now we know how to use a verb with the correct noun. So remember it's play football play an instrument, watch film. So we have a verb and then the activity. So we know how to talk about free time activities and sports. Um, let's go to number eight. I'd like a job for summer. So we have a conversation. Number person A says, I'd like a job for summer. Okay, are you good? At, are you good at English? I have a job for an English teacher. I can speak English. I can speak English well, but I don't like teaching. Is there anything else? What about tennis? How well can you play? Because we play tennis. We don't do tennis. We play tennis. Not very well. Sorry, I gave you the answer. Not very well. <laughs> and I don't like tennis. Question? Do you like animals? So can, remember, is like, do you know how to like animals? That's not, doesn't make sense. Do you know how to like animals? No, it's do you like animals, which is a present simple question. Yes, I love them. Okay, so do you like? Let's make some questions. Uh, do you like speaking English? Now, if it's a do, you answer with yes <laughs> or no first, and then yes, I do, no, I don't. How often do you? How often do you play video games? Actually, let's, let's um, keep making sentences with the first one. Do you like speaking English? What's another question we can ask someone? Do you do you like do you like sports? Yeah. Do you Yeah, do you like coffee? Yeah. Do you like drinking coffee? Okay, definitely yes for me. Do you like Do you like do you like playing the guitar? Yes? Okay, so anytime we have a do question, you must say yes or no first. So yes, I do, or no, I don't. Um, how often do you? So remember, we're asking someone how often. We need an adverb in the answer. How often do you play video games? Every day. What's another how often question? How often do you call your mother? How often do you fix your hair? How often do you do you 
Do you go to the gym? Yeah. How often do you go to the gym? How often? Uh, sometimes. With with someone, yeah. I don't know because it's I played it a long time ago. I don't know the difference between Xbox and PlayStation. One day we have to have a games night. Yeah, maybe one day someone can bring uh, PlayStation and Xbox. I don't know because it's a long time I didn't play. But I'd like to try it. Okay, how often uh, are you good at? Are you good at cooking? So we must have an ING. Are you good at swimming? Are you good at writing in English? Are you good at drawing? Um, are you good at making um, dinner? Are you good at... How often do you go to, yeah, English classes or to your, uh, you could kind of add your, how often do you go to your English classes? So whenever you ask a question in general, you have to make it plural. How often do you go to your English classes? How often do you go to, except for the gym, um, how often do you go to your mother's house? How often do you go or to your grandma's house? Yeah? Um, how well? How well can you play soccer? Not very well. How well can you sing? Not so well. So you got to remember the responses for how um, the responses for how often, they're both called adverbs, are different to the how well. So for the how often, responses will be like, cool. So how often and how well. So if I said, how often do you cook? You've got to use words like every day, sometimes, hardly, ever, never, occasionally, always, um, every weekend. So that's how we respond. We respond with these words for how often questions. But for how well, we respond with different adverbs. They're both called adverbs. These ones are more like not very well, very well, good, bad, um, not so well. How well do you swim? Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, I swim great. Yeah, great. Perfectly. Perfectly well. Amazingly well. Um, very bad. No, that's not answering. That's like, how's your day going? Yeah, so far so good. It's not a how well respond. So you just got to remember when you reply to how often questions, you use adverbs. And when you respond to how well questions, you use adverbs. They're both adverbs, but they're different, they're different kinds. You cannot put this adverb in this one. Okay, so now we know how to... Um, yeah, talk a lot about our abilities and our interests. Um, let's go to the extra materials. 
Okay, so let's have a look at some extra materials for this unit, some extra practice. That's what it means. So remember here, it's giving us just the rules. We use like or love with the action in the ING. I don't like listening to the trumpet. I love playing the trumpet. Okay, so we have all our rules. Let's do the exercises. Number one, she doesn't like skiing. That's a negative. Number two, he, he likes sunbathing. Sunbathing. Cool. I hope you come. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's, I'll just get out my notes. Yeah, so number two, um, number two, he doesn't, sorry, number two, he likes sunbathing. Yeah. So make sure you put an ING, he likes sunbathing. Number three, we, camping, yeah, we don't like camping. It's a negative. And we, because it's plural, there's two people, more than one people. So we don't. They don't look happy. They don't like it. Number four, she, she likes surfing. She looks happy. She likes surfing. Five, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't like doing his homework. Six, they? They like eating out. Yeah, they like eating more than E, eating out. Yeah. Uh, okay, I like music. So that's in the present simple. We want to put it in. Um, I, love I like listening to music. We love Reading books. Yeah. So we just want to put it again in the present simple, but with the ing. We love reading books. So remember, you got the verb and then the noun. Um, he doesn't like homework. He doesn't like doing homework. My grandmother likes video games. So my grandma likes video games or my grandmother likes Life. playing video games. I don't like social media. I don't like using social media. Yeah. My family likes films. I like watching films. My what, sorry? My family likes watching, watching films. films. Yeah, my family likes watching. My friends don't like the gym. My friends don't like going to the gym. Yeah, my friends don't like going to the gym. Do you like photography? Uh, do you like photographs? Yes, and I know you like to take photographs. Yes. Um. I, so we have to make these into sentences. I like swimming is the first one. Peter. Both dancing. 
Peter loves dancing. The team does not play in the rain. Not does not. Does not is only for he, she, it. So the team is they. It's plural. So they don't. So the team. Um, sorry, yeah, the team doesn't like. The team doesn't like. Uh, does it say doesn't? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the team doesn't like. Team don't. Third person. Yeah, the team doesn't like, oh, the team don't. I think they, they don't, because it comes from plural. They don't like, yeah. Okay, my parents. Yeah, my parents like shopping. The children. Making cakes. Yeah, love making cakes. I I don't like I don't love running, but I do. Yeah, I don't love running, but I do it. Uh, do this is a question. Do you like living mm. in London? Yes, so very good that you noticed it's she. So for he, she, it, we must put does uh, as a question. So does she like living in London? And remember, when we have a question with do or does, you say, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Do, do, they, like going on holiday? do they like going on holiday? We, we don't like taking taxis. Yeah, taking taxis. So it's taxis, taxis. Yeah. Do you do you like shopping online? Yeah, do you like shopping online? So we have to write sentences with like, love, or don't love. So for some examples, I don't like dancing, or you could say I like dancing or I love dancing. You can put whichever one you want. I love dancing in every moment. Oh, I don't like. I love dancing every morning. Every morning. Ah, oh, I love dancing. Um, I love dancing in any moment. That's how we say it, in any moment. Every. Every. No, in any. Any? Yeah, oh. in any moment. Uh, we re in really, I mean, it's more common, I love dancing anytime. More like any time is more common. Yeah, it just means any time, like always. Oh, I love dancing. Yeah, any time. Um, I, I play. So we've got to pick. I love playing the piano. What did everyone else, what did you write for your sentences? What did this, everybody have for their sentence? I love playing the guitar. I love playing the violin. I love playing video games. I love playing, yeah, whatever's your answer. Um, I, I watch. What was your answer? I like watching nature. I like watching movies, sunsets. Yes, films, Netflix. Um, I take, I love taking guitar lessons or I love taking photographs. If you have, <laughs> yes, we don't have that action, but in video games. I love you, super love you. But in video games. Yes, yes. good. For <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love oh shopping. So you can put I like, love. I love shopping with friends. Oh, what's you your love me after hey? 
Blue ah, yes, exactly. It has to be red. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, yellow. Yellow is nice. So I love shopping with friends. I love, I like shopping online. Um, so whatever sentences you have, if you want to tell me, you can tell me. Okay, then we have to make some questions. Do you like running? Do you like listening to podcasts? Do you play soccer at the park? Or does anyone have a do question? Do you like playing the flute? The flute. The flute. Okay. The flute. Yes. Do you like playing the flute? Yeah. Do you like playing? Yeah. The flute. So yours would be here. The flute. This one. Yeah. Yeah. So do you like playing the flute? You could put any instrument, the guitar, the piano, the violin. Yeah. Anybody else have a do you question? Do you like, do you love? Yeah, the one uh, like this, <laughs> the flute. Okay, Any anyone else have do questions? No? Okay, so now we're looking at adverbs again. Remember, they tell us how often. Always, sometimes, usually, occasionally, hardly, never. So we have the adverb here before the activity. Um, but you can have a negative, but it goes before the adverb and activity. It goes in this here. So for example, um, Complete with the activities. Play computer games. Uh, sorry, let's go back a little bit to this one. 4B, yes. Let's go back here to this page. Because I know the printing is very... Um, so in this page, we have adverbs and expression of frequency. So the woman will be... Um, Yanath, and the man is going to be George. And it looks like they're old people. So let's hear the conversation. Yep, Janeth for woman and George for the, for the man. So 4B. Yeah. And I every month. I never go to the present school. Then why, so we need to stretch out our words. Then why are you here? Not then why are you here. You cannot make your words too fast or then someone is not going to understand you. So you really have to speak slow and stretch your words out. Then why are you here? Yes, perfect. No, I don't. Okay, good. This was a conversation between a woman and a man. And <laughs> so he's asking what you like, how often, why, and do you ever watch football? Now, ever is like saying in your whole life, like do you ever, it's like saying have you ever been to Europe? Okay, so we know the rules. So Adverbs like always, usually, often, sometimes, not often, never. Think of it as like zero to 100%. How often do you go to the beach? I often go to the beach. Okay, let's do the exercises. So Lucy, John, Chris, and Sally. So 
this is about the opera, this is about the cinema and the theatre. So Lucy never goes to the opera. John goes to the opera every month. Lucy often goes to the cinema. Yeah. Yeah. The kiss, yes? Sure. Okay, so um, let's have a look. Chris and Sally. Go to the cinema every Tuesday. Yep. John. Twice a week. And make sure the goes, like there's a Z, goes. He goes, John goes to the cinema twice a week. Chris and Sally. Theatre. A hard one. Theater. No, Thea. Theater. Yeah. Close. Lucy goes. Yeah. Once. Yeah. So Lucy goes to the theater once a year. John. Negative. Yeah. Okay. I play football twice. We've got to put the words in the bracket twice a week. So it shows us where we need to put it. Number two, they always go to the cinema. Yeah. They always go to the cinema on Saturday. So you use on. For days of the week, on Monday, I have class, on Tuesday, I go to the gym, on whatever. So you always use on with days of the week. And also with occasions, on Christmas, on New Year's, on my holidays, on my birthday. And that's how you use on. So in front of days of the week and also in front of occasions. Jenny goes to the opera. Jenny goes to the opera once a year. So you always have to connect those words. Once a year, twice a year, three times a year, six times a year. So that's a, you have to keep those words together. Once a year. Hey, okay. thank you. Thank you. Okay, I play basketball. Three times, sorry, there should be an S here, three times a month. So three times a month, uh, two times a month, once a month. Lee. Yes, so we know we have the negative before the adverb and then the verb. So Lee doesn't often go to the cinema. Lee doesn't often go to the beach. Lee doesn't often go to the library, whatever. Doesn't often. Means not much. He doesn't often. Anita. Yeah, goes. And every weekend, you have to keep those words together. Every weekend, I read a book. Every weekend, I see my grandmother. Every weekend, I whatever. I watch football once a week. So remember, after once, you go two times a week, three times a week, but once a 
week. I go. I go to the theater twice a year. Okay, put the words in order. So, um, I never go to the opera. Steve plays. Yeah, Steve plays football once a week. Number three. Donna always plays golf on Sunday. Yeah, so always start with your subject. Donna, she always plays golf on Sundays. Number four. Yeah, they sometimes go to the theatre. Number five. Yeah. And number six. Yes. So every Thursday means every week, Thursday, I play basketball. Okay, then we have questions. Uh, sorry, not questions. To make a question... Um, yeah, this one. Yeah. So we've got the words do, ever, every, love, how, to, and twice. A says, do you ever go the cinema? Yeah. So do you... Um, yes. So it's ever and then go. Uh, do you ever go... Sorry, two, yeah. Yes, I do. I go every weekend, yeah. Oh, sorry, I go every weekend, yep. Yeah. How, good. Make sure it's a capital. How often do you go to the cinema? Oh, I, I love the cinema. I go... Week. Twice a week. Good. Number five, complete the sentences so that they are true for you. I always go to my home every day. Yeah, I always go home every day. You don't need to. I always go home every day. I always... See my grandma on Sundays. I always. What other sentences do you have? I sometimes. I sometimes play video games. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes play video games. I sometimes play video games. I sometimes do my homework. Hopefully, no, you should always do your homework. I sometimes go on Facebook. I sometimes take the bus. I sometimes go, yeah, to the shops. I never, what do you never do? I never. But then where do you go? What? What? While? Walking? I never walk. What? What? Yeah, I never walk home. Yeah. So maybe you don't need two. I never walk home. You don't need two in front of home. I never walk home. I never walk to work. So only when you have home, you don't need to, but you do need it for other places. I never walk to work. I never walk to the shops. I never walk to my friend's house. So you do need to, but only home, you don't need to. Okay, let's do 4C. So we have 
as I said, abilities, talking about what we know how to do. So we have a conversation. Um, okay, so the I think this is a woman. The woman with the brown hair will be Jimena. And the little girl will be Juanita. And then the other, and the little boy will be um Sebastian too. Sebastian too, yeah. Sebastian, the little boy. And then the mum in the blonde hair will be um Shirley. Okay, so you got the brown hair woman is Jimena, the little girl Juanita, the little boy Sebastian too, and the mum in the blonde hair, Shirley. So first the little girl says I can speak for English. Little boy. I am William. I can speak French and Spanish. Yep, the mother in the brown hair. Mum with the blonde hair, Shirley. Well, <laughs> so they're having a competition, the mothers. Well, my daughter can do this and my son can do this. So remember, can means know how to do something so the mothers are fighting because they're saying well, my daughter can do this very good and the other mother or well, my son can do this so that's when we use can to show someone that we know how to do something and we can even ask someone a question well can you play the piano do you know how to play the piano that's what it means okay so we've got lots of rules um, and we can even use adverbs with can. You know, I can play the piano very well. He can play the guitar very well. She can't run very fast. So remember, you can use adverbs with can as well. And can is the modal verb. It's not the main verb. So make sure you have can and then the main verb. Okay, so let's, we've got a few more minutes. Uh, we'll just do number one. So can you speak Chinese? Yes, I can, but not very well. Can you run fast? No, but I can swim fast. No, but I can swim fast. I can play the guitar. Can you play a musical instrument? Yes, yes I can play the saxophone. I can't play the guitar. Can you? Oh, no, I can't put my friends. Really well. But it's like a the U is like an A. No, I can't, but my oh. friends can play really well. Can you play golf? No, but I can play tennis. Yeah, no, but I can play tennis. Okay, so that was a lot of exercises that we did for talking about abilities showing that we know how to do something okay. yes, um, and showing someone that we know how to ask them. And we can respond with adverbs. So remember, uh, we know how to tell someone what we enjoy doing. You just say, I like, I love. We know how to say that we can. We know how to do something and ask someone else. And we know how to answer questions like how often and also how well can you do the activity? How often? Do you do this activity and how well do you do this activity? Remember, the responses are different. They're both adverbs, but they're just different. So make sure you know which adverb to use. And then we also know how to, yeah, talk about lots of different activities. Um, everyday activities, our hobbies. So now you should feel confident. You know how to speak about what you enjoy doing. Okay, so let's have a break. That's the end of the lesson. When we do come back um, next week.
next week, I'll just show you what we're doing. We're talking about food. So it's going to be really interesting. We're going to be talking about lots about food, um, looking at singular and plural nouns, uh, countable and uncountable nouns. We're going to be using words like a lot of, many, much. Um, we're going to be asking questions like how much, how many, and talking a lot about food. We're going to be writing recipes. We're going to show someone, talk to someone how to write uh, about how to make something, a meal or a dessert. So that's for next lesson. We're going to be talking about food, um, a lot of vocabulary to do with food and all of that. So that's all next lesson. So let's have a break. And then when I see you, we have a test. Okay. So remember, we've got a test. Okay. So Victor and Amalaris, I hope to see you tomorrow at the excursion. Remember, no class. We have an excursion. Thank you. Okay. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at the excursion or on Monday in class. Okay. So bye. Bye, Victor. You're welcome. Bye, Amalaris. I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the excursion. Bye.